Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Add Product Gallery. So let's see how can we add multiple images as a product gallery. Okay, you can see here this is the product details page and here you can see the product image and inside this section, uh, let's add here the product image gallery. Okay, so for doing this, uh, switch to the project and uh, let's open the admin add product component view file okay so for that just go inside the resources directory then views uh, liveware then admin and from here let's open the admin add product component dot blade dot php file okay and uh, inside this file uh, after this product image uh, let's add here a new input uh, file okay so let's copy this and after this step just paste here okay now change here the label product gallery all right now let's open the admin add product component class file okay so just go inside the app directory then http livewire admin and from here let's open this one admin add product component dot php file okay and inside this file after this uh, let's create a new property here public dollar images okay now go to the view file and uh, here change the property name images also change here okay and also here and after this after this uh, if directive uh, let's add here the for each directive for each dollar images as dollar image okay and after this image just close here the for each end for each all right now save this file now go to the class file and uh, inside the add product method method inside this method uh, after this let's add here the if condition if dollar this arrow images then uh, let's create a variable image uh, images name is equal to blank and after this just add here the for each directive for each for each uh, loop okay and inside this just write your dollar this arrow images as dollar key arrow dollar image okay and inside this for each uh, first of all let's uh, generate the image name okay so i'm just going to copy this line and paste here change here the variable name img name is equal to carbon colon colon now time stamp and after this just uh, concatenate this key uh, add here the concatenation sign uh, before this okay timestamp key uh, and then file extension image extension okay and also remove this dollar this arrow okay only dollar image arrow extension all right now here uh, just write dollar image arrow store edge function okay and inside this just write here this directory name products and after this just pass here this one img name okay and let's copy and paste here and after this inside this variable let's uh, assign the image name okay so just write here dollar image name is equal to images name and concatenate with comma okay comma sign then this image name okay img name every image name uh, separated with comma all right and after this for each uh, just write here product arrow column name images is equal to this variable name okay
all right now save this now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now go to the admin menu and uh, let's click on all products then click on add new and here you can see the product gallery okay all right now let's create a new product so i'm just going to write here uh, the product name uh, let's say new test product one okay and uh, inside the sort description just write here sort description okay and here inside description description okay uh, regular price uh, let's say regular price is $579 okay and sale price $550 SKU DC uh, this one in stock featured no quantity let's say 11 and now add here the product image so browse and select the uh, product image okay uh, let's select this one selected now add here the product gallery images okay so i'm just going to select this one these two okay one more mistake here uh, for multiple selection inside the input file type uh, inside this let's add here multiple okay now save this and refresh the page okay now try one more time so add here the product name new product let's say one sort description and here description regular price 500 let's say 79 and here 550 sku dc this one and quantity 11 product image okay and now product gallery image select these two okay and now I click on open and you can see here the two images okay now select the categories okay now click on submit and here you can see the product has been created successfully now let's check the database so go to the local host uh, php my admin and uh, let's open the database laravel e commerce db okay and browse products table and in last you can see here the newly created product okay new product one and uh, here is the product image and here is the gallery image okay separated with comma all right now let's uh, display these images on uh, the details page okay if i sort this sort by newness and you can see here the new product one okay if i click on this product and here the uh, product gallery image uh, is not showing here okay now let's make visible this product images uh, product gallery images okay so for that uh, switch to the project and let's open the details page so from resources directory resources views liveware and from here let's open the details component dot blade dot php file and inside this file let's find here the product gallery div okay and uh, where is the this is the description price quantity uh, let's search here the gallery okay here you can see here this is the product gallery div okay and inside this you will uh, after this li uh, let's add here uh, first add here the 
PHP directive and just close here the PHP directive so right here in PHP and inside this uh, let's create a variable images is equal to and here I'm just going to use explode method explode okay and add here the separator comma and now just pass here the column name which is uh, sorry product arrow column name images okay all right now after this uh, just add here the forest directive then images add image okay and uh, inside this for each uh, let's copy this li and uh, paste here now press tab and here for uh, showing the gallery images just remove this and uh, simply write here dollar image okay and also here and inside the alt tag this is right product arrow name okay now it's done so save this and let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now you can see here the product image gallery and this is the blank okay so for avoiding this uh, before this li uh, let's add here if directive if dollar image in if and then inside this if directive just paste here okay now save this now refresh the page now it's good okay this is the product image and these are the product gallery images okay all right so in this way you can add product image gallery okay so that's all about add product gallery so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching